What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Outback 341 RD. This is the biggest Outback model that we get here at my lot. This thing is absolutely huge. It's about a 38 foot travel trailer and has a phenomenal seating arrangement in it. So I'm really excited to show you this one. We also have a king size bed with washer dryer hookups. So a lot of really good stuff going for this model. Oh, and for 2022, you have a tankless on-demand water heater. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you want to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I post regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV or maybe any RV that you have seen on my channel, I am in a sales position. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you purchase this RV or maybe setting up a time to come and look at it in person. So if you are interested in that or need purchasing information, you can text me at the number on the screen. Keep in mind, I am in a sales position and I do not get paid by my company to make these videos. So I only get paid when someone like you sees these videos and trusts me enough to come and purchase one from me. So text me at the number on the screen there if there's anything I can do to help you make this RV yours. All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. I am very excited to look at this RV. This is one of my favorites for something that is just a really large size travel trailer that potentially could be lived in full time or would just be great for really luxurious camping or glamping as a lot of people like to call it and definitely going to be on the bigger size where this is about you'll see the specs on the screen but this exact model here that we're looking at is uh 38 feet and three inches and it's about 4850 pounds sorry dyslexic kicking in a little bit dyslexia it is 8450 for the weight there so 8450 pounds for this exact model here see a really beautiful front cap on this Outback. Definitely love the way the front cap looks on here. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, 8450 for the weight on this model. And then you have 5,100 pound axles. Gross vehicle weight rating of 10,500 pounds. So if that is, if it were fully loaded to the max, what that weight would be on there. But really big triple slide travel trailer. See how big the profile is on this Outback. Outback actually makes two different lines. They make this full feature Outback and then they make a ultra light Outback. This one here is their full feature. You're going to have the 30 pound propane bottles up front. You have this premium rock guard on here. So this is like a textured material here that is actually painted on as a rock guard that is a really clean finish, especially once we get that all scrubbed down and get it really nice and clean looking. Really nice black front cap there. That is not a windshield, but your um, wardrobe closet is back behind there. And then you have the bright white LED lighting behind or underneath here that is going to light up this entire area if you're ever doing anything at night in this area here. You're going to have 30 pound propane bottles. So two 30 pound propane bottles that you can have there and then tons of room for batteries. It looks like you could actually fit about two batteries here and potentially another one back here as well. So room for up to three batteries. You will have a battery disconnect here as well. So if you want to just kill all the power to the batteries, you just switch that to power off so you don't have to go in and out of your RV and make sure everything's turned off if you want to kill all the power to the batteries docking light switch right underneath here real easy convenient spot sometimes i can't stand where they put the docking light switches i think that is just a real easy convenient location right where you would want to turn the light switch on so little things like that then this has a bal frame uh it's the next gen frame from norco Industries. so this here is an all american made steel frame that uses machine welding. So no human error in the welding aspects of it, but most of the construction of this frame is actually done with huck bolts, which have an even stronger bond than a weld does. So a really good quality, lightweight frame, especially needed for this bigger size travel trailer to help keep the weight down a little bit, but a really strong quality frame from them. And then as a part of that, you actually get this seven point auto leveling system. So you have this touchscreen panel here, where you're gonna have all your controls for the auto leveling system. And even the tongue jack is a part of the leveling system. So this is something pretty unique with this leveling system that comes with this frame on this Outback. 
you're going to have a seven point system had to check and make sure <laughs> yeah you're gonna have a seven point system so one up front here two right up front here with your stabilizers and then you have two more behind the axles and then another set of two more back on the rear bumper area as well so a total of seven different points of contact for your auto leveling system which is very unique for a travel trailer even a lot of travel trailers that do have auto leveling which there's a not a lot of them um, this is one of the only two brands we carry both the outback and the cougar the only two brands we carry in travel trailers that have an auto leveling system they do not even have a seven point auto leveling system they're usually a four or maybe a six point but most often they're just a four point auto leveling system so this is a really unique setup with that there that is pretty cool so we come around you're going to see you have your awning here that covers about two-thirds of the length of the rv so a really big awning it is incredibly windy here in texas today and we have a wind advisory going on all day so i don't have the awning out this door is going to open up here and you do have a slide out tray for your storage compartment you can see you have your solar charge controller there for the 200 watt solar panel on the roof monitoring the charge going to the batteries going to have your aluminum framing here and you can see it is welded on both sides of the frame there hopefully you can see that all right i just kind of stuck the camera up in there so see everything there then this slide out tray let me latch this you're gonna have a latch here to hold the door open and this will slide out so you have access to that storage tray there close that you're gonna have power sources out here for if you did want to set up a TV or just plug something in to outlets, inverted outlets. So basically what that is meaning is if you wanted to install another solar panel and get an inverter on this RV, you can start getting power to some of your outlets like this from solar. Then you have TV hookups there if you wanted to set up a TV there as well. Solid step on the entry door. We'll get to that more when we go inside. Coming back here, you are gonna have a nice looking wheel with a standard leaf spring suspension underneath there and then trailer king tires would have liked to see a more upgraded tire on this outback that is a quick easy change that you as a consumer can make but i would have liked to see a little bit higher quality tire on this outback i wish that was something that they would change on there just coming standard from the factory with a better tire coming back around here you are going to have the norco cable driven slide systems so all your slide out boxes will be on these cable driven slides advantage to that one they come with a manual override so if something wasn't working you can manually override it and get your slide in and out and two it is going to push and pull from all four corners evenly so that you're getting an even push and pull each time you move that slide out box so it doesn't damage anything on the floor or anything like that along the back you have access for storage inside your bumper this cap will pop off and you can store things in the bumper there and then you have a ladder to get up to the roof you can get up there and then your other two slides on this side over here pop our heads underneath the rv as well show you the underbelly nice clean enclosed underbelly you have heat fed into this underbelly cavity so your water tanks and water lines will have heat fed to this cavity to keep them warm so that they do not freeze and then you can see you have your spare tire up underneath here as well We'll hop up on the roof real quick, show you the roof really fast. You do have backup camera prep, so you can install a backup camera if you want a backup camera on this travel trailer. And I'll try not to get blown over while I'm up here because it's so windy, but you have a 200 watt solar panel, two AC systems, and then you have a couple vents, plus you have attic cavities so you can get the hot air and moisture out of the roof cavity if it does get hot and air needs to escape out of that attic cavity there. But fully walkable roof and again, a 200 watt solar panel to keep your batteries charged. And we'll hop back down. Coming around this side of the RV, you're going to have your Nautilus water system. So this is a change they made for 2022. This was not in the 2021 models where really easy water system here that's nice and compact, doesn't take up too much space. Turn this light on in here, it doesn't make a huge difference, but you do have a light in there so you can see what you're doing. You can see you have your legend here that tells you how to 
position these levers and switches here or whatever you would call these exactly for how you need to do what you're trying to do with this water system you have a black tank flush here to flush out your black tank without having to pour water down the toilet directly and then you have a cable wire here so if you wanted to install a satellite on the roof this wire running to the roof to plug in here to the satellite plug is already ran so you don't have to take on that expense if that's something that you wanted to do and that way they don't have to pull apart the whole rv to make that wire run from the roof down to here so that wire is already ran that will close and lock there like so then down underneath here you have two different dump stations but they are right next to each other so nice that they're right here next to each other this will be your gray tank black tank and gray tank so that's gray tank and black tank for the bathroom plus gray tank for the kitchen i believe and then this is another gray tank so it looks like you just have another gray tank here for the kitchen as well so lots of water storage capacity underneath here with your water tank sizes this is going to be storage underneath the bed so you have this nice cavity here that is in the slide out for storage that is underneath the bed plus you have this 25 foot coil hose that will hook up in your water station as well this is your hot water heater or not hot water heater your water heater because it's making the water hot and the water heater here is a tankless on-demand water heater so what that means if you don't know is that your water is going to be running through a system that heats it as it's running through the system so theoretically you have unlimited hot water as long as you have a water supply so really great if you're looking for taking longer showers and stuff like that that is pretty much everything on the outside you do have your two outside speakers as well don't think i missed too much let's go ahead and pop inside and see what the inside has to offer so as we head inside you do have the solid step here giving you a nice solid step that is grounded to the ground for going inside has a 200 watt solar package on it it's a 341 rd i do want to point out real quick before we go inside as well this is especially for a lot of my customers that watch here that plan on buying from me that do not live in Dallas. We have a campground on our facilities here. So you can see that is where I have this RV hooked up. This space is designated for our customers that purchase from us. So when you do come to purchase from us, you can actually stay back here in our campground area, fully hooked up to power and water so that you can test everything out on your RV, make sure everything works properly, make sure you know how to do everything before you head home. If you don't know how to do something or something is not working properly, we're right here to take care of you and get that fixed or show you what to do before you take it home. So really awesome thing that I love that we offer here at where I'm at in Dallas. So coming inside, look at all the space in this floor plan. It is absolutely crazy. I'm just kind of going to give you a walkthrough real quick of what the whole floor plan looks like. So much natural light coming in here. It is amazing the amount of natural light that you get in all the windows. Really good looking color scheme as well. I know we've talked a bit in some previous videos about the color scheme of the Outback and whether or not y'all like it. It seems like it's more people that favor it than dislike it, which is good because I know it's different than what most people expect from RV interior, but I really, really love the interior design with the color schemes and everything. So let's start looking around at different things. First of all, I wanna talk about the sub flooring underneath here. In this Outback, they use what is called hyperdeck flooring. So underneath this flooring material, the, linole the linoleum that's rolled over there, you're going to have a polypropylene and fiberglass layer sub floor with about an inch and a half worth of um, block foam as well for insulation. And this basically makes this a completely water resistant floor that is also more lightweight than wood. There's no wooden components in the sub flooring whatsoever. It's more durable than wood as well. So just a really solid subflooring that you have underneath here that is a Keystone exclusive. That is a really cool thing that they've done. Really big space in here. Feels just like a fifth wheel floor plan essentially where you have like a rear den type of setup. And let's look at your dinette table here. A couple different things to look at. First of all, really nice booth finish there. LED lighting underneath the booth. You have this bench that obviously can slide out but that does store in the wardrobe closet when you're going down the road there are some straps in there to hold it while you're going down the road legless dinette table so nothing there to get in the way that you hit your legs on and then you do have a leaf on this table as well so the leaf is stored underneath here to make this elongated really nice latches that they use too that are pretty unique for how 
that latches into place and stays into place. So the leaf will have those same latches on it also. USB ports and outlets right here on that wall and then Velcro to hold that in place. But when you lift that up, you'll have storage underneath here. And then this is a wood backed bench here. So if I could do this with one hand, kind of, there you go, knock on there. That is wood backed. So I like that they do it like that just for a little bit added quality and durability. Going into your kitchen area, solid surface countertops. And if you can see it on this camera, you got a little speckle in the countertop as well. It looks really nice. Nice looking backsplash as well. This is not actual tile. This is like a faux tile, but looks really nice. Going to have cabinets up above with your microwave in the corner, wine rack up there as well. And then one thing I do want to talk about real quick before I forget, your control panels right here, and you have tank heaters for your water tanks. So your fresh water gray tank and black tanks all have tank heaters that you can switch on here that run off the battery system. So if you are transporting in below freezing temperatures or camping in below freezing temperatures, you can flip these on to keep your water tanks warm. So another premium quality feature that comes with this Outback there. So come around here. Let me see where I was at. Sorry, getting a little bit distracted. <laughs> but it's easy to do in a travel trailer this size you'll have these drawers that pull out pretty nice they put a black bottom on these drawers magnet latches on them as well have a nice silverware tray there but like i said magnet latches to hold those in place and you'll have those three drawers there cabinet that opens up here underneath and these are going to be breakers and fuses a lot of people ask what this box is when they come to look at them in person so that's breakers and fuses right there two shell system in your cabinets. There is no turntable in the microwave. So pretty interesting thing there. So you can fit bigger dishes inside the microwave. You also can see you have kind of this railing system there that can be utilized, but no turntable. So you can see that's a different diamond wave technology that they use on there to eliminate the need for a turntable. And then you have two shelves here. All of your windows will have pull down blackout shades and then really nice black faucet here. Um, I've mentioned in a couple videos now, me and my fiance just purchased a house, which has been incredibly exciting, but our house does not come with even nearly close to as nice of looking appliances as what these RVs do. So sometimes I just wanna steal something like this and take it to my house and the stainless steel sink. This looks better than my sink too. And uh, I wish I could bring my house's stuff here and swap it out for what this RV has, but Nice drying rack here, or prep rack that you get as well that is perfectly fitted to the sink. And then you come to the kitchen area here. You have a vent going outside of the RV. So you turn that on, that is going to vent outside of the RV. Have a light on there as well. Three burner cooktop, it is a Furion cooktop. Slide that down in, that'll go into place, give you some additional countertop space. Have these nice blue lights on all your knobs. They'll turn red when you turn one of them on. And then you have a pretty good size oven here, bigger than the smaller size ovens. Not the absolute biggest ever, but it is bigger than a lot of travel trailer ovens. And then a nice storage area underneath. You have a slide out spice rack. It's a pretty cool little touch there that Outback gives. You could use that for various different things. Looks like canned goods would probably fit in there as well. And then a large storage compartment overhead. So which that is going to bring us to the price here. I don't even know what the price is on this thing. Looks like with the options, like um, it's going to have some of your standard packages like the comfort package, the um, auto leveling system. The auto leveling system is an additional package that is an option. Um, has the 200 watt solar system, the 13.5 BTU or 13.5 K BTU air conditioner, the second one. Um, that is an additional option added onto this. And the total is going to come out to 77,930 for the um, MSRP price. Now this is not our actual sales price. That is just the manufacturer suggested retail price. We sell them below the MSRP. So this thing will sell well below that. And you can contact me at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV and would like to get purchasing information. So I can get you a great deal on this and help you make this RV yours. So text me on the screen there and I would love to personally assist you and help you out in making this RV yours. Really nice looking GE refrigerator. Lots of space inside here. 
Nice little beverage holders as well. And a pretty large freezer. So all running off the 12 volt system. So your solar panel is gonna help keep your batteries charged to keep this running all the time. And definitely will run while you're going down the road. Now I do wanna point out with the way this is set up, this is gonna slide in right here. So you will not be able to get to the refrigerator while the slides are pushed in because this is all gonna come into this space right to right about there. So you will just have to push this slide out just a little bit to get to the refrigerator. You don't have to push it all the way out, but you will have to push it out just a little bit to get to the refrigerator while you're going down the road. It's gonna be your designated pantry space in here. It goes really far back. Looks like it goes just about two and a half to three feet back. And then a little bit more shallow compartment there to make room for the water lines and everything underneath there. Now in this area, both of these sofas are going to pull out and make into beds. So you will have two different bed setup scenarios right there. Really big fireplace that will put out heat. So the advantage to the fireplace is this is an electric heat source. So you do not have to run propane to get heat from this fireplace. And if you're sitting in this area, you'll be able to feel the heat directly. And as long as it's like over 45, maybe 50 degrees, this is going to do a good job of taking the chill out of the air for this entire area. Once it gets below those temperatures, then you'll probably want to kick on your furnace as well. Really large 50 inch screen TV that you have in here as well. Could fit an even larger TV if you wanted to, especially considering the space you have underneath here. If you wanted to set a TV on stands and increase the size of space that you have there as well. But nice wall mounted TV, windows on both sides. Again, just look at all the natural light coming in here. I mean, so many windows. Super, super bright. And all these have blackout shades if you wanted to get the opposite feel and black everything out as well. Storage around here, this should be unobstructed all the way through, strut assisted cabinet doors that stay up on their own. All hidden hinges as well, so you don't see any of the hinges from the outside, which is nice. Also wanna point out, you have a 70 inch, 78 inch clearance for the height here because of the barreled ceiling. And while we're looking at the ceiling, let's take a look at the ducting system, because you can see you have your AC here, and you have duct lines coming out of both sides of the AC. So you're getting double the amount of air vents because it is ducted down both sides of the RV. And then you have these blade AC vents here, which these are pretty unique. Um, something I wanna point out with these, or a couple things, first of all, these put air out in a 360 degree motion. Keystone spent about a year engin um, engineering different AC systems for RVs and trying to figure out what worked best. They found that these are making RVs up to 20% more efficient, or RV AC systems, up to 20% more efficient and cooling down the RV quicker. And the reason for that is because when this air comes out in a 360 degree motion as opposed to just one direction or maybe two directions like we're used to seeing in directional vents, you're getting significantly more airflow. And then it is taking this cold air and pushing it down because hot air rises. And so it's continually causing the cold air to come down and the hot air to rise and creating that cycle to cool down your RV. So a really cool, efficient system. And then if you do want to get better airflow to maybe one area or the other, if I can pull this out, here you go. You can see this here where this little blocking aid here, if you have it faced towards the AC unit, so you can see how that lip, actually, I guess that's facing away from the AC unit. So you can see the air is flowing from this way you have that blocker right there, that is gonna send all the air down through this return or through this vent. If you turn it the other way like this, that is actually, let me get it where you can see, there you go. If you turn it the other way like this, where you have this side facing the AC vent, that is actually going to cause it to run around that vent and not go through that vent. So if you wanted, let's say you didn't want air to come through this vent and you wanted it to get all the way back to this vent in a more, in a more strong current, you would take that vent right here and face it this way so that that air would pass through that vent and not drop down into it. So that is how you can kind of get the airflow how you want it to be in that vent as well. That's something I haven't really explained in any of my other videos, so I wanted to explain that too because that took me a little bit, a little while to understand. So I wanted to explain that. All right, you have sound system down underneath here. So it is a Jensen sound system with all of your controls for the TV and music. A couple different colors on the fireplace. So you can see you have this orange, blue, and purple, and then kind of a natural fire look there. My favorite is the purple, so in most of my videos, you'll see it set up on the purple if I have the fireplace on. And also have some storage compartments back here as well. Again, all magnet latched on the cabinets. 
and some little shelving spaces down underneath here. Finally, on the recliners, let's pop these up. You can see they are the Thomas Paine collection on the recliners. And my only beef with this floor plan here, to get these premium recliners in there, because the slide out box and needing room for this to come in, you don't really have enough room to get these far enough off the wall for the recliner to lay all the way flat. So that's something I am kind of bummed about with this floor plan. I wish that it was different. If you purchased this and wanted to, you know, slide these out a little bit further so those can lay back, they do have the capability to lay all the way flat, but for the slide outs to be able to close, they can't really come out far enough in just a standard position to lay all the way flat. Also have a kind of surround sound audio system. So speaker there and speaker here in the ceiling. And I think that's just about everything in this area. Let's head back into the bathroom where you're gonna have a dual entrance bathroom, porcelain toilet. So solid porcelain toilet there. You have some nice cabinet space inside here for storage with shelving. Again, all magnet latches. I had someone say, you shouldn't make it sound so hard to open the cabinets when you're uh, doing your videos, but some of these magnets are really strong to make sure they don't open on you while you're going down the road. You have sink set up there with the medicine cabinet and let's step inside this shower. I'm about 6'2 with my shoes on, 6'2 to 6'3 and my eyeballs are about even with this shower head here. Still have plenty of height with the barreled ceiling and the bubble. You could be about 6'4 or 6'5 and stand in this shower. So you will have space in there and it's gonna be the corner shower again, nice black looking appliances. Keep it all in unison with the rest of the design of the trailer. Then going into the bedroom, going to have a king size bed with a full wall to wall wardrobe essentially and that's going to make room for washer dryer hookups you have space here for um, different clothes you can mount a tv to this wall or you could just put it on the stand there really big window here again king bed so lots of space east to west facing bed giving you all this floor room to walk around You're gonna have three drawers that pull out there or not i guess these aren't drawers they're cabinets that open up here hinge assisted again or strut assisted with hidden hinges is what i meant nice looking backing plus it does come with this nice looking bedding that fits the aesthetic of the rv do have these nice little nightstand areas as well so you can put some stuff there outlets and usb ports next to the wardrobe closet here and then on this side you have us or outlets down underneath here as well lift up this bed and you'll have storage framed out underneath here with of course the outback pet kennel so this here is a pretty cool thing outback does in most of their models where this will open up so you open that up there you have this framed out space here and this actually oh, this has a really nice finish to it it's like they put something over the wood there to give it an even cleaner finish so i like that i don't know if it's oh yeah it's like this um plastic liner that's on there so that's kind of nice too that's a nice little touch that they did it's a pretty neat thing that outback does here giving you that pet kennel door definitely a unique touch giving your pets a designated space in the rv if you want to use it for that and then in the wardrobe closet you're going to have the sliding mirrors that come all the way across here clothing rod through this space with the shelf over the top and all this space here this does have a door here that opens up um it's sealed closed but i think i don't know exactly what that is to access but there's something that is accessible underneath there it is just a pass-through storage underneath there but and then this is where i was talking about you see where it was sitting where the bench goes for the dinette table for storage and then one of the most requested things in a travel trailer this size you have washer dryer hookups now this here is only going to have room for a combo washer dryer unit which is how a lot of travel trailers are if they do have washer dryer hookups but you can put a washer dryer combo in here take out these shelves which is something we can all do this is like something we do at the dealership level you don't have to do it yourself but we can get that installed here and you can get a washer dryer in the space if you want it if not you just have a ton of shelving space there and that is just about everything on this outback 341 rd so 
let's head back through here. Kind of a testament to how quickly this AC system cools down the RV as well. When I came in here about an hour ago, this RV on this area here was about 82 degrees and it got all the way down to 67 degrees within a matter of just about an hour. So really quick at getting this thing cool. And then you can see in your bigger space here, it's at 74. So really quick at getting this area cooled down inside this RV as well. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally assist you. So you can text me at the number on the screen there and I can get you further purchasing information to help you decide if this is the right RV for you and set up a time potentially for you to come look at it in person as well if you need to do that. So you can text me at the number on the screen there and I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.